Welcome back, my TCL Scorpion 72. Today we're taking a look at the Batman animated series Batwing from DC Collectibles. Yes, DC Collectibles give us another vehicle for a second year in a row, and it is amazing. So, as you can see, it comes in the box as it should be. On the side here, it says the Batwing, as well as telling you some of the features on the Batwing, which includes retractable claw or grasping claw, as they call it, um, working lights, and the landing gear. And it has a studio that uh, sculpted this uh, Batwing, which is a uh, Crushawara uh, Studios. Sorry, and um, the box here shows you the side of like a silhouette thing of Batwing, and at the very bottom it says actual size. And yes, it is the actual size. So the size of the box is the length of the Batwing, and the box is really, really long. On the other side panel here, it says Batman anime series Batwing from DC Collectibles. So without further ado, let's go about the box and see what the vehicle is all about. Alright my little TCLs, it's the Batwing. I can't believe how big this thing is. It's like crazy amazing. I've seen pictures and stuff, but now having it in hand, holy moly. So, um, the Batwing here comes uh, disassembled like this in the box. So you have three main pieces. You have the right wing, left wing, and the middle part. So I'll tap these pieces on, it goes on into the side here, as you can see, each side has a panel here and something like that. So what's really cool is that all you really do is just put this thing in like this and it locks in just like that, automatic, very, very easy, very simple and just look in the other way like that and there we go and it's done, c'est la vie, it's that easy. Now what's really cool that they do have in the instructions is say you have to move when you're afraid you don't want to break the bat wing or anything like that then here at the bottom which is a little closer here there's two little switches here at the bottom which allows you to disengage the wings so the instructions here show you how to put on the wings as well as the, uh, the remove the wings if you want to take it to a friend's house to show off your big bat wing that you bought and the two little mechanisms here allow you to take off the wing safely so all you do is push this one and this and you should be able to pull it out so we'll give this a shot now that's one and two i kind of have to get them both together which is this is the hard part of this okay, it's getting these two together have to do if you have to put your two fingers like this push them simultaneously with your other index finger just push it up and there you go it comes right up uh, the wings are light so be careful they'll go pop right off but they feel light and sturdy they are kind of hollow but nevertheless that's how you can disengage and take off the wing uh, if you're playing with it you can pretend the wing gets knocked off and you have it flying down and shh, it's about to crash and everything and he's lost the wing so that's pretty cool so let's put back the wings in you hear a little, ooh, little spring activated mechanism in there. Now the landing gear is at the bottom here. So you have a panel here, which you just open up. You pull up the landing gear. You hear it click. You can put that back in. Same thing on this side. It's better if I turn it to see. Little thing to get your finger in. So you put it in there. Just take off the back wing like that. So here, Got this part here, just simply slide it down, take this wing out, just slide it back up. Now have it went in place there. Doesn't really lock in, so you might want to leave it downwards like that, and then after, voila! The second batch of instructions you'll get shows you how to take out the landing gear, how to retract the landing gear really safely. I do like the idea that when you have the landing gear out, you can close up the compartments to cover the holes. And when you put the landing gear in, it looks smooth and it's so concealed that you won't know the landing gear is there unless you really, really look carefully. And that's really, really clever on DC Collectibles part. And the cool part about this is, is that it rolls very nicely too. Look at that. 
just got cash so doesn't roll off the table. The edges are really pointy, so if you're buying this at a key for a kid, you might want to put a little like rubber stoppers here or something like that. Especially on the back, it's really, really pointy. This is just a thing of beauty. Look at this. Wow. It's got the matte back, the uh, black color finish. Uh, what else is there? Yep, not much really more for that. Very, very nice. As you see how tall it is, compare. Oop, give it a little comparison there. You can see up against the wall, this thing is just, so you have it from here to here, and it's really long, it's really, really tall. If you stand up that way, so if you want to mount, uh, wall mount it, that's why I'm saying I have it up in the air. So I'm just really excited about this thing. <laughs> so, wall mounting is very easy. You can have it like this. So, uh, I heard some people want to put like a moon background to make it seem like the Batman, like in you know, Batman movie and goes up like that. Let's just have it like this. Nice little shot at the bottom. Um, it's got some weight to it, but not as heavy as a Batmobile. So you can actually physically go around your house and play with this. Just make sure you don't knock your eye out. So, that being said, how about we take a look at some figures with this thing. So, of course, I'm going to use the Batman and Robin with the cloth capes. Just to give you a little idea of how the size comparison is with these two. Next to the bat, uh, Batwing. So this is how it looks with the two of them standing side by side. Now I will say this part here, it has a little hinge to hold it, but it does not really hold too well. And you gotta be careful, you do you can get some smudges, so you might wanna wipe that off there. But it slides easy, a lot easier than the first Batwing. I mean, sorry, the first um, Batmobile. Now, of course, this is going to require three A batteries, which are not included. And the third batch of instructions would be, of course, to put in the batteries. You would need three AA batteries in order to operate the light features and uh, exhaust features stuff of this vehicle, and which is on the bat bottom of the v of the Batwing. And here you have the little warning about batteries. And before I put the figures in, I got to show you this thing of beauty. I happen to just press the button for this. So. Without further ado, let's just do the switch. Um, the switch should be right here, which is by the back part of the exhaust. And when you put that on, this is just amazing. Look at this. I got to turn off the lights for this one. Just look at this inside control panel. Like, wow. Like, let me give you a really shot inside here. Like, look at that. The detail and everything of the lighting inside the control panel is amazing. All these different colors and stuff. It just looks really, really cool. And of course, if you don't want Batman to sit alone, you have this other compartment and even this part here. Even this part has amazing, nice, bright lights, controls. This is the first time I'm seeing this inside here. Nice little TV, the little panel screen there too. Just, just wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. And let's look at the exhaust. So it's the back exhaust of the bat wing. Just a really nice and cool vehicle. I knew the bat wing had lights, and it just. You really have to see this up close and personal to really appreciate the type of lights that this thing produces and just the different colors and stuff that are inside the cockpit. It's really, really a step uh, 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 up and above from the Batmobile and it really, really looks amazing. It's like almost hypnotic and you can stare at it all day. I'm just really impressed with the whole cockpit light up features of this Batwing kudos DC collectibles you did an excellent job even the exhaust looks pretty wicked all right so I know I'll show you this I took off the back part here when um, I had the lights off so I'm gonna show you how that's done you put your thumb or finger right there and you just flip this up grab on the side and there you go casings a nice plastic 
This part is really nice and well painted, like a really solid black color. So you can be seen, you make it seem that Batman doesn't want to drive alone. Or if he wants to drive alone, you can put that in there. So the, fig the figure in there, there's a little joystick too, a little rubber joystick inside here, which is really cool. Um, one thing to note, when lifting up the bat wing, trying to lift up from the wings, I find it kind of bends it a little bit too much. So if you do like a sudden jerk motion and try to pick it up, it's a possibility it might snap. I'm not saying it will, but you don't want to avoid, you want to avoid that I should say, because this is not a very uh, cheap uh, item that to purchase here right now. Um, up here in Canada, I paid a little over two. So yeah, I'm going to be very careful of this. So nevertheless, you have a little joystick in there and a little radar dish and everything and stuff. So fit Batman in. Kind of like the same thing with the Batmobile. Especially with the cloth capes, I find they go in very, very easy. Just a uh, maneuver. I should have switched his hands for uh, the gripping hands and stuff like that. Because he can, if you wanted to, kind of grip the joystick. It is rubbery, but we'll just put him like that for now. And then you can fit Robin right in there beside him. Um, I'm going to bend this knees a little bit, I'm not sure, oh, there's a little space and grooves at the bottom here, so his legs are going just fine, you just might want to tilt his legs a bit, feet like that, before you put Robin in. Or better yet, forget what I just said, put that up. <laughs> Because unlike the Batmobile that had seat belts, unfortunately it's funny that the Batwing, well, there's no seat belts in here, so. Then after you just go like that, and there they are. They are now inside of the bat wing. And here you have Batman and Robin inside the bat wing. You can see in there. Now, a little thing I noticed when I close this is that there's a little gap here. And when I notice that his ears kind of touch that. So I'm going to see if I can kind of fix that up. But uh, yeah, this is how he looks inside of the bat wing. Really, really nice. Pretty neat. I like it. So yeah, I was right. You have to kind of push him down to fix that little gap here that you'll see. So now the gap, he doesn't have as big as a gap there in the in the what you call it, in the cockpit. So you just gotta really, really cram. Not really cram, but get his head in such a position where it does not hinder the whole thing there when you when you slide this part up and stuff so that we can get them in there really really good snug and you're not gonna be keep rubbing on the top of his ears every time you slide or open or close another thing to note is that hey if you wanna capture somebody and bring them secretly to the bat cave for interrogation or anything like that you don't want to see where the bat cave is you can still fit this part on top and conceal the prisoner or even like Robin or somebody of that to make it seem like Batman's flying alone. So this is what Batman looks like if he was alone inside of the Batwing flying solo. And it's really really cool because even in the angle here it does really look like he's by himself and it's a one man caught pick thing. So that's really really neat. I like it. Very really uh, cool concept. It's able to put some thought into that and really really gave you like playable ideas or display ideas which are really really cool. So another feature this bad boy has is a capture claw. So the capture claw is really cleverly hidden in here. So there's a little port here that houses the capture claw. So you pull that down, uh, you got to kind of feel for it the first time. It's like first time you're using the capture claw. There you go. I wish it would come out a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, that's the length of it. And there we go. So, this little claw here is used to capture like your uh, prisoners or um, some episodes is when he was, uh, who's going after? He's going after that guy that was trying to, uh, in, some guy had information one of the episodes where like, he used the claw. Yeah, the claw, one of the claws, uh, grapplers does open. So you can just grip like a figure in there. We we'll use Joker. He's kind of big for this. 
So it might work better with Catwoman or something, but if you have his head leaning onto the side, you can just um, pull him like that. And there you go. You can bring him off to Arkham Asylum or someplace over the water and interrogate him. Okay, it's a mob boss or somebody. Remember he's dragging him along the water for those of you who've seen the cartoon scene there to interrogate him. So that was pretty cool. So I thought it was a little neat surprise or something like that. Wasn't expecting the claw. Um, my thing is, is that I wish I added something like this to the Batmobile. Like I mentioned in my other uh, two Batmobile um, videos. That like uh, rockets are maybe like um, the side panel like a uh, thing on the wheels there. The shredders and stuff that pop out the side of wheels would have been neat to add it to the Batmobile and stuff. That would have been really, really cool. And that would have been really nice to have this. That kind of thing with the Batmobile. But it's really cool. I'm glad that they added that with the... Um, bat wing here so to put the claw back in it's just kind of like you can squeeze this there like this and it can close completely at full length a full um, closure I thought I could move because it feels like there's room for that but just checking because there's a little extra port here or something hold there okay so you just push that back in and flip this back up Make sure I'm doing it right. There you go. And voila! It's in. On the back of the landing gear instructions, there will be showing you how to take out the claw and the cockpit. Um, the panel there at the bottom there it's a little hard to open at the beginning so you have to be careful because I feel like it might snap when trying to open it so just a little forewarn and that forewarning on that as well as the claw too so yes before you ask I am going to do a comparison between the Batwing and the Batmobile so you know the two of them are quite different one being a plane and one being a car of course and um, you can see them side by side. The difference is the Batmobile is a little bit wider because it's a two-seater that's got you sit the Batman and Robin side by side. But the Batwing, if of course one is in front of the other, um, the lights are very very different on the two vehicles. And of course, I have that uh, X-wing there that came out from Toys R Us a year or two ago to show you the length. Because I do have the Tie Fighter, but it's just TIE FIRE just be higher than the Batwing, that's the only difference. And the figure sheet that comes with this Batwing for some reason does not show the Batwing on it, it just shows the figures and stuff, because in the last sheet they did show the Batmobile, so maybe it's in the next one. So the Batwing hit retail um, this week, so it should be available on online retailers or comic book shops. Um, if your comic book shop did order it, if not, you could probably get them to order it through Diamond uh, Comics Distributor. Um, it is pricey. It goes for $175. Some online retailers have it a bit cheaper. Um, with Black Friday around the corner, you might have some that might knock off a few more dollars off of it. I mean, I paid up here in Canada due to exchange. I paid a little bit over, like a uh, two, two fifteen to twenty almost. So it is a pricey vehicle, but if you're a collector of this line, it's a definitely must-have. Um, I'm just surprised that these collectibles are doing vehicles like this. It's something new for them, and they're doing a really great job at it. I hope it keeps up. I hope it spreads out to other lines like uh, DC icons and maybe even the regular uh, 7 inch lines and stuff because that would be really cool to get a vehicle like that but nevertheless an amazing vehicle for any collector of this series or this line our so thanks for watching my review of the Batwing from these collectibles um, like comment subscribe if you haven't already this is the latest vehicle from DC collectibles that I mentioned and I believe there are talks of doing another one to try and top this I don't know what they can really do. Um, there's still the black bat jet from the new Batman Adventures. Um, there's a bat plane boat that they can do. There's also um, my 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 guess is that it's either the new Adventures Batmobile, which is going to be another uh, side by a two seater, um, two seater vehicle, or it's going to be probably the um, Batman Beyond. Um, uh, 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 playing there, the bat, uh, the Batmobile, Batman Beyond Batmobile is my other guess of what they'll probably do as a vehicle for Batman the animated series. Um, 
chime in and think, uh, give me an idea or tell me what you think might be the next vehicle they might be planning or the next uh, item, large item they might be planning. Who knows, it could be a big Batman kind of assembled diorama or bat cave. You never know with DC collectibles, they're always full of surprises. But uh, we'll just have to wait about like uh, roughly what, two months and a half now or something, Toy Fairs away, uh, two months from now. So, hey, can't wait to see what they have up their sleeves. So, it's Scorpion 72 for review of the Batwing on YouTube from DC collectibles, of course. From uh, Batman the Anime Series. <laughs> hey, you can enjoy your toys. Until next time, keep playing. Ciao. One, two, three, four, I like videos, you like videos, I love toys and